A lot of you have been asking what my studio looks like and what my live streaming setup looks like. So I thought I would do a quick little studio tour to kind of give you a better idea of what I am doing and how I'm using my space. I actually live in a pretty small apartment and the room that my studio is in is actually a uh, bonus room. It doesn't have any windows or doors. So I had to kind of get creative with the space and how to make it feel good. Basically, it's a super small space, but I utilized it in a way where I can have all of my stuff set up pretty easily and then also not have to worry about taking down my live streaming setup. This is my toy synth setup. So this is where I have all of my uh, things like pocket operators and do Game Boy stuff as well as drum machine work. So I got a couple of synths here as well as some like little homebrewy things, stylophone. And then all that's set up to go into here which is the main DJ rig. So this controls all of the audio in the room. So I can change the volume easily without having to worry about going to a whole bunch of different setups. And this is the main place where I stream. So if you look up here, this is where the GoPro is located as well as that other camera over there. And that's why I have that ring light here. So basically at a drop of a hat, I can just turn on the whole setup and everything's hardwired in. And all I have to do is connect one USB and put my laptop here and everything's plugged in and ready to go. So like five minutes to set up. Had to get creative with the space too. So I, like all of the models and things I build have to be above the DJ setup. Over here's where I have all my books and all my soldering stuff. There's not a lot of room, so I had to get really creative. Only have essential books and manga and things like that. Essential quote unquote manga. <laughs> We have all the pins that I've collected over the years. And this spot over here is my main musical area. So this is where I produce all my music between the two computers. And it's on a standing desk, so I can change the height. Usually I like to stand while I'm working on music because otherwise it, my back will hurt pretty bad by the end of the day. So try to keep that in mind. And then over here is the backdrop where I keep all of my flags so I can flip out the flags based on what I want to have on the stream. And then I have a little tiny light over here that is reactive to sound. It's not turned on for sound right now, but we'll then blink in the background to kind of give a little bit of extra visual excitement to the stream because otherwise it could get pretty boring just looking at a blank wall. And then lastly, I have all of my shipping and merch down here. So it's under this table and then I pull all of that out. Well, hope you guys enjoyed a look at my studio and uh, let me know what you think. And also post links to your studios or post pictures to your studios and tag me so I can check them out. All right, peace out everybody.